Hey, it's Jamie from Gilbrook Farm. We take you along on our journey to become more self-sufficient, and we are learning about herbals. In particular, today, we're gonna make some cold and flu pills. It's the end of September and cold and flu season is just about upon us. And in order to prepare for that, uh, we are going to make some cold and flu pills uh, that we can take at the onset of any cold and flu symptoms. Now the three books that I refer to whenever I am researching herbs is Rosemary Gladstar's Medicinal Herbs, The Herbal Handbook by James Duke, and also The Green Pharmacy by James Duke. And if you guys are interested in any three of these books, I'm gonna leave them down below in the description. Now, this, this particular recipe is um, a similar one to the one found in Rosemary Gladstar's book uh, under cold care capsules on page 62, if you guys want to uh, research that yourself. Now, her recipe calls for echinacea, golden seal, marshmallow root, and cayenne pepper. We're gonna change that up a little bit, and we're gonna add an additional ingredient, which is ostragallus. Now, why did we choose these particular ingredients uh, for our um, cold and flu remedy? I'm gonna go through each one. Most of you guys probably already know that echinacea is the number one herb to go to when uh, trying to fight off the cold or the flu. Uh, actually, Native Americans used to chew on the root uh, to help prevent cold and flu as well. Sometimes they would make tea out of it. Um, the reason why echinacea is so good, if we look under the green pharmacy, under colds and flu, you can see that it's the number one herb under this section. And what echinacea does is it increases levels of a chemical in the body called properdin, which activates the part of the immune system responsible for increasing defense mechanisms against viruses and bacteria. Also under the same section, you can see golden seal. Now golden seal uh, contains a component called berberine, which activates special white blood cells or macrophages that are responsible for destroying bacteria, fungi, viruses, and tumor cells. That's why we're using golden seal. And further on down the page, you can find marshmallow, where uh, marshmallow has been used for thousands of years as a soothing herb for cold-related cough and sore throat and other respiratory conditions. As for the ostragallus, uh, that one's found under the herbal handbook. Um, a lot of people are familiar with echinacea, um, but the uh, Asian equivalent to echinacea is actually ostragallus, and it has somewhat similar properties to the echinacea. And if we go under this section, you can see where it's used to treat cold, sore throat, uh, and other viral infections. And as for the cayenne pepper, um, Rosemary Gladstar actually gives a good reason for using this, which is that cayenne is rich in vitamins A and C, which can aid and support the immune system. So that is the reason why we are using these particular herbs. Now to make the cold and flu pills, uh, you're going to need some sort of capsule to put them in. Uh, we are using a zero zero capsule. That's just a particular size of gelatin capsule. And uh, all of our ingredients need to be in powdered form. Uh, now I have all the ingredients in powdered form except for the marshmallow roots, so I'm going to need to grind that up. Now as far as measurements, we are going to use one part echinacea, one part astragalus, half a part golden seal, a half a part marshmallow root, and then we're gonna use a quarter part cayenne pepper. If you are sensitive to cayenne pepper, you might want to either reduce that amount down or even eliminate it altogether. It just depends on how your body um, takes cayenne pepper. All right, so I put in an eighth of a cup of golden seal, an eighth of a cup of marshmallow, um, a sixteenth of a cup of cayenne pepper, and then a quarter cup of both the echinacea and the ostragallus, and now we're just gonna stir those all together. The ingredients don't have to be 100% um, exact. It's more a rough ratio. 
All right, so we got a plate here. We're gonna put our bowl over top just in case there's anything that spills. We have our capsules and we're just going to pull it apart. You can see there's a small end and a big end. We're gonna fill up the big end. And you can do that by just scooping it in there. And you can fill up the small end as well. So there you go, we have one herbal cold pill. So that's one way of filling up the capsules. Another way is to use something called a capsule machine. And these are sized for your particular um, gel caps. So you can see this is size 00, and it's size 00 um, gelatin caps. So the capsule machine comes with five parts. You have a base, and then this is the bottom for your pills. This is a tamper. And this is for the top part of your capsules that are gonna use, be used to put on top. And then this is a spreader card to spread out uh, your powder. Now the capsule machine also comes with a desiccant uh, packet. And the reason for that is because these capsules can sometimes swell due to moisture when just sitting in a bag. So they recommend you put the desiccant in a uh, airtight jar for at least two days because um, these, when the capsules swell and you put them in the machine, it can cause them to jam. So in order to use this, again, you're gonna pull apart the capsules and you're gonna put the big side down first. And then the small side goes in the lid. So again, the big side goes down here, small side goes up here. And you just fill up the machine. Now we're gonna just take a spoon and fill this up. And you can use the spreader card to spread this around. I think that one might get stuck. And you use your tamper, push it down. See how much that compacted that? And then you do the same thing again. Now we take the lid. And we put this on top, like that. And we press. Now when we pull the bottom off, there's all of our capsules. And we can take these and just push them out right onto the plate. You see that's a lot faster than this and more of the product gets packed into the capsules when you do it this way. It's also a lot faster. I'm gonna take this and just put it back in our bowl and we'll do the whole process all over again. So that particular recipe made about 120 pills, uh, which should be good for the whole season. You are gonna wanna make these every year because uh, the herbs will decrease in potency year over year. So um, this will be good for one season. I am just gonna store them in a mason jar uh, with uh, a lid on it. I did put the instructions on the top for what they are and I'm gonna store this in a dark cupboard. Now, as far as dosage, um, you're going to want to take 
uh, two capsules every two to three hours at the onset of symptoms. This is a very high dose, so you're gonna want to decrease that after the first two to three days to two capsules about three times daily. And then after about uh, two to three weeks, you're gonna want to stop altogether um, because you don't wanna take these on a continual basis. Also, if you notice that you have any adverse reactions, uh, stop immediately, of course. And also just keep in mind that I'm taking you guys along with me on my journey as I'm learning about herbals. I am not a uh, herbalist or a naturopath, uh, and so I cannot give medical advice, so just make sure you check with your doctor that all this is okay with them. Um, before you go down any kind of herbal path. So if you guys have made any cold and flu pills yourself uh, and you guys have any tips or tricks to offer, go ahead and leave those down below. And if you guys have any questions about what I did or why, uh, leave those down below as well. I'll try to get to those as best they can. If you guys want to continue to learn herbals along with us, feel free to stay tuned. We have a lot more videos coming out and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.